They try to deny it, Barcelona have a problem with Antoine Griezmann. Individually, La Liga's restart has generally been profitable for Barca's forwards. Martin Brathwaite scored his first goal for the club in a good performance at Mallorca. Similarly, Ansu Fati netted an excellent opener to cap a strong showing against Leganes. Luis Suarez has eased back into action after injury, and Lionel Messi is still Lionel Messi. But from Griezmann, there has been practically nothing. The Frenchman's performance against Leganes on Tuesday night was very worrying. Despite playing the full 90 minutes, he barely had any impact. And this was in a game where Barca had 75% of possession and spent the majority of the time trying to pick their way through the opposing defence. Even in that supposedly beneficial environment for a forward, Griezmann was virtually anonymous. His struggles look even worse when you compare his contribution of 22 touches in 90 minutes with his attacking teammates, all of whom were far greater protagonists than Griezmann. It wasn't only the game against Leganes on Tuesday. Griezmann was similarly invisible in his first game back at Mallorca on Saturday night. Griezmann certainly can't complain that he hasn't been given sufficient opportunities with his new club this season. Behind Gerard Piquet, he has spent more time on the pitch than any other outfield player, but still, he's not fitting in. Why? Well, a lot has been said about the lack of connection between Griezmann and his captain and clearly the team's most important player, Messi. And on recent evidence, it is a serious problem. Against Leganes on Tuesday, Messi made 61 passes to 12 different teammates, but his total number of passes to Griezmann was zero. Griezmann, meanwhile, made just one pass to Messi. Only one direct connection between the team's two main forwards over the full 90 minutes of a game they dominated? That is a massive worry. Messi's apparent disinterest in playing with Griezmann was summed up by a passage of play in the second half, shortly after Suarez has entered the action. Messi had possession in midfield, and Griezmann made a run in behind the Leganes defence. Clearly, Messi has the ability to cut out the defence by lofting a pass into the stride of Griezmann's run. We've seen him do this hundreds of times. But he only had eyes for his best buddy Suarez, completely ignoring Griezmann's dangerous run, leaving the Frenchman frustrated once again. Sometimes when it rains, it pours, and Griezmann's frustration was compounded by the fact that he did actually score against Leganes, but had it ruled out offside against Nelson Semedo in the build-up. It's surely not coincidental that by far Griezmann's best game for the club against Real Betis back at the start of the season came when Messi was absent. Rather than getting better as it would be reasonable to expect, Griezmann's lack of connection with his teammates, especially Messi, appears to be